Hello, everybody. This is Learning Check 8.04. So your question is the combustion of liquid octane, C8H18. So there's the formula for octane. And you got one hint there that one product is gaseous water to help you out with the solve. You're going to balance the reaction, decide if it's endo or exo, find out your enthalpy and entropy values, and follow that up with what the Gibbs value is and if your reaction is spontaneous or not. So go ahead and hit pause and get as far as you can. And welcome back. All right, so this is a combustion reaction. So that should have given you a hint right there. It would be CXHY, or in this case, C8H18 plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water because that is your general equation for any combustion. We just substituted in eight for the X and 18 for the Y. Okay, so if you really didn't even know where to get started on this, but think you have an idea on how to balance, pause it again because it's a great chance to um, practice for that final where you'll have to balance the equations. And what is the rule for balancing combustion equations? We have to go in a special order, Cho order. We balance the C's, then the H's, then the O's. So how many C's do I have? I have eight carbons. So that means I need eight carbons on the right side. The left side, what is that side called again? Reactants. And the right side is called products. And so we need eight carbons on the product side. How many carbons do we have now? We have one. So remember these items in front are your coefficients and the coefficients are done with multiplication. So the coefficient times the number of elements would give you the total number of carbons. So what times one is eight and that is eight. So we put an eight there for the coefficient. Okay. And now we balance what? We balance the carbon. So now we balance the hydrogens. Hydrogens, we have 18 on the reactant side. On the product side, we have two, but we need 18. What times two is 18? Nine times two is 18. Now we have balanced the hydrogens. Finally, we balance the oxygens. And it's because he's a player that we have to balance him last because he shows up both in carbon dioxide and water. Eight times the two oxygens and carbon dioxide is 16. Nine times the one oxygen, remember if there's no number, it's a one, is nine oxygens in water. So all together, there are 25 oxygens. So we need 25 on the left. What times two is 25? 12.5 times two. And this guy over here, if he doesn't have a coefficient, then it's always going to be a one at coefficient. So now I'm balanced. But just like in math, I don't like to see things in decimal form. That's not in simplest form. So I'm going to multiply 12.5 times 2 to clear the fraction. So anytime you see a half, you multiply by 2 because that will clear out your fraction. Okay. If you had one third, what would you multiply by? By 3 to clear the fraction. Okay. And what I do to one thing, I have to do to everything. So every coefficient is going to be multiplied by 2. That's what makes the math work. So what is my final balanced reaction? Two moles of octane and 25 moles of oxygen gas yield 16 moles of carbon dioxide and 18 moles of water. So that is my balanced chemical reaction. Remember those coefficients are also the moles and that's how you do the stoic. What else do I need? What did it tell me? Liquid octane, all right. Because liquid, we have a lot of hydrocarbons that are gases, but octane is heavy enough in its molar mass that it becomes a liquid. What's oxygen? Oxygen's a gas, carbon dioxide's a gas. Here, I know you wanna say oxygen is a liquid, but really this reaction has so much heat in it that it starts off as a gas and then it will condense to a liquid because of room temperature. But 
that's what's going to make your entropy value what you need it to be, is to recognize that the water is going to start off as a vapor here because it's that warm. Endo or exo? Hmm. It doesn't tell me where energy is. It doesn't tell me my delta H. So I can't use any of those tricks there. What can I do? Oh, he's combustion. If I combust something, I'm burning something. If you burn a candle and you put your hand near it, is your, you're going to feel cold coming off of it or heat coming off of it? You're going to feel heat coming off of it. So combustions, exothermic. Where do I put the energy if it's exothermic? The heat exited, so it became a product. So your heat is gonna be over on this side, on the product side, because we can collect that heat. So my equation is balanced. I know that it's exothermic. Is my delta H, what does delta H mean? To change in enthalpy, is that going to be positive or negative? It's exothermic. It's on the product side. So delta H is less than zero because it is negative. Okay. What about delta S? Delta S is the change in entropy. Okay. Delta S is gonna be what? How do I figure this out in year one? In year one, I look for moles of gas. Okay, when we're finding delta S, more moles of gas on the product side and delta S is greater than zero. Okay, more moles of gas on the reactant side and delta S is less than zero. So that's your little cheat sheet every single time, just like you have the cheat sheet for delta H. If it's positive or on the reactant side, then delta H is greater than zero. If it's negative or on the product side, delta H is less than zero. So it's all about just being able to read those equations. Okay. And what did I find out? I found out that my delta S, let's see, gas, moles of gas. Okay, this is a liquid, so we're not gonna use him. Here's a gas, 25 moles of gas on the reactant side. On this side, they're both gases, 16 plus 18, 34 moles of gas on the product side. I have more moles of gas on the product side. So delta S is greater than zero. For spontaneous or not, I have to go to that table. What does that table say when I am going? Delta H is negative, delta S is positive. Delta H is negative, delta S is positive. Exothermic and increasing disorder because when I have more laundry on the right side, I'm gonna have more disorder on the right side, okay? This is how your room goes throughout the week. It starts off with only 25 pieces on the ground and then at the end of the week, somehow there's always more. So I'm going to be using this row. What does this say about Gibbs? Gibbs is less than zero. So Gibbs is negative in this case. And it's spontaneous at all temperatures. And that's consistent with most combustions, not all, but most combustions. And have a great day.